Welcome to the Nimrod. Hey, we are the Nimrod. Fancy shit. Let me tell you, we have a great episode today. Thank you so much for joining. I am so jazzed to be a part of this. Sit back, read it. We are going to be going don't get fat. A candy tier list. I have a sandwich. Hello, listeners. I am Grand Sand, and here I have just Jerry J, Mick Hawthorne, and Cream Karn. And we are the Nimrodders. Hello. How are you guys doing today? My lava lamp just went. Oh, it just diarrhea no. a second. Oh. oh, my word. Is Mine's your lava here. lamp okay? Mine's still heating up. You can't no, see it's it. Getting, it's have getting you had a it's similar getting turned experience? On by the candle. It's getting turned yes. on by the candle. He have you or a loved one right experienced mesothelioma? Um, expound. What is that? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Grand Sand, the commercial. Me. If you have a loved one yeah, suffer from mesothelioma, yeah, blah, 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 yeah, blah. Yeah, mesothelioma, you know. Yeah. You're entitled to blah, 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 blah. Yeah. It's been going oh, on my whole life, bro. <laughs> yeah, for real. Jerry, what? you're what, like, you're what, like 47 or some shit? Said, Man, 52. Like, come on. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I have no idea what you're talking about. But that's I, all right. I mean, I, I really, <laughs> I really hope that. And we are the Nimrodders. Oh, and that's why I already said that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, uh, besides your lava lamp, how are you doing, McOctor? Um, You know. Are you are you intently googling something sick. right now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's I'm the looking at the muscle what, theme. What, what no, to, I'm looking what up to the do? Most mes- I'm looking at the mesothelioma lawsuit. Um, oh, <laughs> what to do script. when your lava lamp has diarrhea? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is worrying so me. Mm. That might help. That might help. I'm doing oh, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here, here it is. Here it is. Hold on. Yes, I'm over eight. Attention. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with mesothelioma, you may be entitled to a financial compensation. Mesothelioma Mm -hmm. is a rare cancer linked (laughs) to asbestos exposure. Exposure to asbestos in the Navy shipyards, (laughs) mills, heating, construction, and automotive automotive industries (laughs) may put you at risk. Please don't wait to call. Yeah. Wow. For a le- free legal attention, if you were a loved one, and Grand Sand has no idea about it, attention. it sounds familiar, but it's just that word. You've probably heard it on. You probably on, heard like, it TV. Yeah, it just went if right over my head. Fox, and I was like, it's probably, uh. it's probably on a news website because a bunch of old people watch the news. If yeah, you were yeah. a loved one, have been. Uh, affected I watched this on Nickelodeon movie. though. I'd watch a cartoon and it well, would be like in the middle of like, we came on Cartoon Network. Yeah, I remember yeah. watching Cartoon hmm. Network, and there's like this public uh, service announcement, and it's like, if you've been sexually assaulted, next oh on Tom God. and Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what? It's like what? Bro, there, there, was some, there was some wild. Like, what? There was some wild cartoon, <laughs> like wild like uh, commercials in between the cartoons, though. Yeah, yeah, right. Like some sometimes it'd be like, all right, you know, it'd be like, here's like a fun little fuck it, whatever. But like, man. Mm. Mm. I mean, like, I'm trying to think of the one that was like, it was from early, early, uh, I must say Nintendo, early Nickelodeon, where it was like a, <laughs> like a, it was a crazy ass commercial for, uh, it was Pepto Bismol. That's what it was. Uh, when they first, when they first, the Pepto Bismol commercials, like, they had like the these weird, like, innuendos and shit of like, you know, oh, well, Here's your poop getting stuck. I don't know. Whatever. Let's, let's <laughs> My dogs are fine. Do you remember uh, yeah. that Nickelodeon? That Nickelodeon sk- sketch where they had it was like the fingers, the cartoon fingers. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah, had like yeah. a pen, or yeah. like they were like planting shit. Do you remember thumb wrestling? Yeah. Oh, and Cartoon Network. It was, was it Cartoon not, Network or was, was it? A, was it? I'm pretty sure it was Cartoon Network because I was like, "What is Cartoon Network doing, dude?" I, I definitely so remember the, the planting. It was early introduction <clears throat> to ASMR. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. It was kind of cool. Y'all ever have uh uh you ever watch a celebrity death match? Oh. <sighs> mm-hmm. Yes. No. 
Yeah, what? Listen to the whole podcast. Let's just talk about what? all the old shit we miss. <laughs> no, but you know what really made me upset was when Animal Planet <clears throat> decided to shift to reality TV and it was like <clears throat> Animal Planet, surprisingly yeah. human. It's like, I don't want human. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want Animal human. Planet. <laughs> these aren't the animals I'm looking for. I don't want these. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Good yeah, I'm doing times. great. Um, oh. I had a bowl of oatmeal, <laughs> but it wasn't just any bowl of oatmeal, guys. Let me tell you what. This is. It was this is a like baby. The new, it was not a baby. No, no, no. This is the new food that I just absolutely love and adore. It is mm-hmm. banana nut with Pro- fresh blueberries on top. It is, the, is. It, is it the protein banana nut? It's Quakers? the protein banana nut. I got the same milk. thing and a cherry almond. Oh, you what? You what? You what? I have the cherry almond protein too. Ah, oh, mm. dude, with yeah. the blueberries, yeah, is just it's something else. It turns oatmeal into a whole new now, ball game for me. Now I will tell you, you're in taking a little bit too much fiber with that one, my boy. I hope you're mm. gonna be like my lava lamp over here. You know. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I've been fine and I've been eating it every once in a while. Every Wednesday. Anyway. <laughs> every Wednesday. <laughs> anyway. let, let, let me know how you feel in 48 uh-huh. hours. No, I'm, listen. Dude, okay. I, need, I, I need to give Jerry props because I asked him about which protein powder I should get. And he, he showed me a, like a honey protein and fiber one, right? Or not a, a hemp. Sorry. A hemp. Hemp. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I was like, okay, cool. And he was like, people don't know that you got you got to intake your fiber when you uh, when you when you do protein because it, mm-hmm. it blocks you up. Mm-hmm. And I, not saying I didn't believe you, but I was like, mm, you know, maybe I'm still young. Maybe it's not that bad. I didn't shit for like three days. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. My stomach oh, no. hurts so bad. <laughs> one thing, Oof, bro, one thing, when it comes to like anything that can be considered scientific, mm-hmm. I don't research it. I know mm-hmm. it. I but so it. far, I, I feel that. fine. Especially and it with tastes the human body. great. It's like, really well, good. It's like the, the combination of the warm and like uh, coziness of ow. the oatmeal and then the fresh blueberries that almost it's like it's calming you mm, but it's also yes. refreshing you at the same time and it's just it's a whole experience yeah, that's flashback. gonna be fine because his metabolism high as shit flashback mm. to the to the <laughs> fruit tier list uh jesse bought me these little like fresh fruit things right mm-hmm. uh to have for like like, like, a, like a little smoothie pack you just add water and then yeah. go on your way um, oh. Yeah, I realized that I don't really like fruit that much. You I don't? don't like people. Yeah, a lot of people don't like fruit. I like. I fruit. like fruit. I thought it I was mean, crazy at first until I realized a lot of people don't like fruit. Like, I really okay, like fruit. it's it's all right. Like to me, I I tried it to just be like straight up water. Maybe if I made it with yogurt because I didn't have any at the time, maybe it would have been better. Mm-hmm. But like just straight up fruit is not for like. I mean, and it, it was even reflected in that episode. I like, I like grapes. I like plums. I like, you know, oranges and stuff like that. Lemons and whatever. But like, like strawberries or any kind of like watermelon or cantaloupe or any of that shit. Mm. I'm just like, mm, Cantal- cantaloupe and melons. Uh, Ooh, miss me. Mm-hmm. Miss me. Mm-hmm. Nope. Give it to nope. me. Nah. I'm a berry man. <clears throat> I like berries too. Berries. I'm berry. I'm, um, give me a mixture of berries and give me a, a lemon and squeeze the lemon juice on the berries and throw a couple <gasps> of dragon fruit in there. Yeah. What? Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm a tangy uh-huh. citrus. I'm a tangy uh-huh. citrus man. So I, <laughs> any fruit, even if it's a fruit I don't like, give me a lemon. <sighs> well, that's it. interesting. That's, you just I pour lemons on everything? I squeeze the lemon juice <laughs> on everything. I, 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 I don't your skin. Box just the whole lemons. lemons. Like, do, 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 do. All the rice. Like, I'm everything. life. Yeah. I'm life. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that, that, you that. squeeze lemons on everything. I squeeze lemons on it. Yes, yes. yes That's yes. how I am with limes. I love limes. Limes yes. are lovely. I love limes. Yes. Limes are limes. lovely. Very tasty. I'm a, I'm a citrus fiend. I have a confession. Oh, what? God. Yeah. Oh no, he's coming out. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I have a new favorite spice. It's not Old Bay anymore. Oh, oh, uh oh. Oh, is it Creole? Is it Creole? Is it Creole? That's my favorite. 
Mm-hmm. That can't be canon. The, the green, the green can. <laughs> Tony, Tony Satcher. Oh my gosh, you're breaking yeah. the canon event, Carl. Uh-huh. You're breaking the canon event right now. He's breaking it. Yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna. Have I've seen so it. much old Bay merch from you, Karn. Mm-hmm. When I tell it's, y'all, it's absolutely this insane. is the best. Mm-hmm. Put it on your eggs. Put mm-hmm. it on mm-hmm. your freaking. Just put it on everything. Okay. What's this a for me? Oh wait, it's wait. To- wait. Tony Saturies. I got my product mode turned off on my camera. Tony Saturies. Mm-hmm. That sounds. That sounds. That, that didn't I don't want to be that. saturated by Tony. Hey. <laughs> I got Why my ideas. I, I do. Sorry, hold on, guys. Hold on, one second. I'm like going down through my notes. I have a notepad, and for some uh-huh. reason, I wrote this down. <laughs> What's that? What, what, what did you write What's down? It say? Still needs to pay dollar signs. Walk the walk, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I did I write that. What? <laughs> oh, oh! When Grandson was on the phone and he was trying to write it down. And- oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. What's the spice called again? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's funny. You mean that night when we were trying to record a Patreon episode and we couldn't because someone interrupted us? Yeah, that memory boy. Ah, oh, yeah. yes, yes. Indeed, yeah. So, Tony Saturies. Mm hmm. So, oh, yeah. With Creo. a CH. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, Saturies. Sh- now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I still love Old Bay. I don't know how to spell Saturies. It's okay. I still love Old Bay. Just look up Creole seasoning. It's the first thing you'll see. It's a green. It's a green can or bottle or whatever. I still love Old Bay. It's not like it's. It's not like it's going away or anything. But like, I've I've realized that what Tony Saturies is is just Old Bay without like that that seafood taste. Yeah. Uh-huh. Which I love seafood. Don't get me wrong. I made, I made shrimp in Old Bay last night as my midnight snack. It's almost. Okay? It's almost like nice. Cajun, but not Cajun. Yeah. Also. Tahin. Oh, I'm gonna Tahin get also hat. Is, is, Ta- is, 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 is ta- no Tahin. Tahin. So I don't what know do you how to spell, this, guys. What, what do you put this on? Everybody. I put it on my eggs. I put Ooh. it on. Uh, Does it good good on a sandwich? Yes. I, when I make like oh. a, a chicken rotisserie sandwich or something, I spring mm. a little bit on the cheese so it can stick to the cheese and not like fall off. Yeah, I put it in my grits. <sighs> Your grits? You eat grits? grits? Yeah, bro, I'm from the south. Stop playing. Um, from the south. <laughs> <laughs> even Car just yelled it. He's from the south. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I eat grits. <laughs> oh, no. bruh. All right. <laughs> uh, it has to be good grits, though. Like, not everybody grits is good. Mm. It got to be some great grits. So, I mean, let me take some great. Preferably take the, with with shrimp in it. Um, take the discount sticker off of here. Shrimp? You never had shrimp or grits? No. Oh my god, bro! It, y'all what? y'all gotta come down here. Good. <laughs> yeah, honestly, Jerry, shrimp like even grits. I'm from the Northeast, but like I eat more Southern and Grand Sand. But... That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so Tony Saturies. Okay. Okay. And then you get this at, at your local Safeway. You get it anywhere. Your Walmart. Still Walmart, love this stuff. Kroger. There's the bay, but <laughs> salty bay. Tahin, oh my god. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Tahin. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Tahin, Tony Sh- Satcher- Shatteries, Just get Bay. any seasoning that's like orangey brown, you'd be good. Oh. <laughs> Jerry, does it seem does it seem a little bit like you're educating the white the white masses on how to season their food? <laughs> it's a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. It's exactly what it is. Bro, if you want to surprise anybody, I've like, never had you know flavor how to in season my life. food, just make it a little mm. bit spicy, but not too spicy, because then you'll be considered Hispanic. Mm. Oh. I love things really spicy. Mm. And if you got it really spicy, really spicy, then you're Indian. Mm. Oh yeah. Because oh. they Dude. don't believe in hot. Yeah. So my mom, she was a she was a nanny, and she took care of a little Indian boy, and they take the first birthdays very seriously, um, probably because mm-hmm. of the low birth rate back in the day, oh, and mm-hmm. um, low life expectancy, and so the first birthday was a really big deal, and so they um they celebrated this little boy's first birthday, and they had a banquet, like amazing, tasty Indian food, <clears throat> but holy shit, it was hot, and so. 
Um, it was just the group of white friends at the one table, just a bunch of white people at the one table who were just like, a bunch crying of milk. and stuff. And they were <laughs> like, they're like, they're trying to get like the yogurt and stuff to try to like kill the yeah. spice a little bit. But even that was burning their <laughs> Oh, no. Bro, that's so good, I feel though. like that's why their metabolism is so high because they, they're, when you eat spicy food, your body start going blood rushing, so your metabolism is just up and going. That's why you don't really see a fat Indian. Think about it. They've also huh. probably don't know how that works. There. It's probably because <laughs> I don't pay attention to, I, I don't see and Indians also they in don't my eat the bullshit life. we eat, so. That's true. A lot of people don't. And, I've never uh, had curry, yeah. and I want to have curry really bad. Bro, oh. I had a really bad food poisoning, and I'm just now getting back to being able to eat Indian food again. Bro. Oh, congratulations. Thank When's you. the next time you're going to eat some Indian? <laughs> uh, Bro, this whole set podcast is sponsored by Pepto-Bismol today. No, I mean, honestly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my lava lamp. <laughs> and your lava lamp. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But I, guys, I, I kind of want to try this. Tony Shatteries, put it on everything you eat. Just yeah, I'm, 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 I'm the best thing. The best thing to have it on. I just ordered it. Matter of fact, boil some eggs yeah. and just roll it, peel it, roll it around in there, and just eat it. Bro. Mm. Do I you took like? A of it. Do you like mashed potatoes, corn, mac and cheese, or like eggs better? All of oh better. Ooh, uh, don't make me pick between those. Yeah. Why, why would you do that? Yikes. I mean, mac eggs and cheese, are more I guess? accessible to me. And mac no, and cheese. Yeah. You can't you can't pick. I have not, to. I I, okay. I I have no choice. It, I'll it, die if I don't. It, <laughs> I can't I can't you die if I you can't do. pick You'll either die. of those over the other. Die. You'll die. You, you you need to pick right now. Yeah. That's you how you pick, have pick to live right life. Now. <laughs> you need to pick right now. Eggs, you said mashed eggs, potatoes, corn, and eggs? Mm-hmm. Oh. You said mac and cheese, right? Mac and cheese too, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I chose that. I chose that. Jerry, say I, macaroni and cheese. I, I'm gonna go with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, ooh. I'm gonna have to go with corn. Corn. Mm. Okay. It doesn't matter. Grant said, "What do you pick?" <laughs> <laughs> I think he said I mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Mac and corn cheese. Be mac and cheese. Mexican. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Jerry, shut up. So no. what you're going to do is you're going to make, do you, uh, first of all, Kraft or Velveeta? That's, that's an actual argument. Oh, boy. I don't know. I, uh, and then the losers the who like Annie's. What's the difference? What's the difference? I don't know the difference. difference. Velveeta. I don't eat a lot of mac and cheese, actually. Velveeta is used to make nacho cheese. <laughs> <laughs> like, I will die if I do not get my mac and cheese. I don't eat a lot, but I will die. Velveeta God is typically used to make nacho cheese, so use that as a comparison. Okay, Velveeta. Fine. All I'm right. convinced immediately. Make, make make a pot of Velveeta mac and cheese and okay. put it in a bowl and then dust the top with some Tony Saturies, mix it up, and eat it. It's going to be a little spicy for you. But, but for me, I didn't mean to say for you. <laughs> I don't know why I called you. <laughs> you mean you people? <laughs> what do you he, mean? he really people? just called you the basic of basic white. I'm guys. sorry. Italian. Italian. Hey, hey, I'm, okay. I'm the one hey. that picks out the peppers and that's left in the pizza boxes when no one else is. Dude, I've been and that's craving, not even that spicy. I've been craving a pepperoni for like weeks Ooh. now. They're good. Pizza. I haven't had pizza in a very long time. They're juicy. I just had Domino's yesterday. I miss pizza. I had Domino's two days ago, three days ago, or whatever. Yeah. Well, you guys are craving pizza now? I already had it, but I'm always well, craving dude, pizza. Dude, would so. it taste good on pizza? Yeah. Yes. Oh, man. Yes. Hell yeah. Bro, you can it's sprinkle it on. Even the stuff you don't think you can put it on, put it on it. Grapes? Just put it on it. Grapes? <laughs> Hey, oh, maybe no, yeah, no, 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 like lemons and yep. and and like My mom does and strawberries and shit. Yeah, mm. it's equivalent to putting hot sauce on popcorn. This, I gotta okay, start so doing this, stuff, man. This is like a like a like a like a seafood <laughs> seasoning, right? This is like a Nolens kind of thing. Yeah, 
And then this is like more Hispanic type season. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So Bro, like, they, I need they, to try uh, more spices. I like how it? you just have a sur- su- surplus of of spices next year <laughs> gaming setup. That's oh, I just went and grabbed those. I mean, this this sat here. This is actually expired. This expired in December of 2022. Ah, season don't expire. It. Oh, oh no. It doesn't expire. It. Um, what's the it's some Mexican salt. I don't know what it is. A Mexican salt. I it, it, com- it I comes like, in like a little mm. I like the uh, Red Robin seasoning. I like sea salt. Sal. Ooh. It's got I like, like the brown salt that you crunch in yourself. Yeah. That could be any stuff. salt, Grant. I, like I didn't pink know salt. that that, the sea pink, salt. that that Himalayan Thick. is like a thing, like Himalayan salt. Thick yeah. sea salt. Yeah. yeah it's a bunch like of different that. salts. I will Sweet. get into the side. <laughs> I will get into the scientific of that, but we ain't gonna do it because. Certain salts aren't really salt. Mm. Uh oh. Mm. I don't have my tinfoil in here. We can't get into that. No topic. more politics, Jared. <laughs> okay, okay. I, th- I didn't know food was included too. I don't think it is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> food is a big thing of politics, believe it or not. Is it? Farmers isn't like dumping a, tomatoes. Isn't there like a rice, a right uh, stuff rice or something like that? I like rice. What about it? Is it uh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Only the good. thick rice, though. I need the sticky thick rice. Mm. Hey, I like fried sh- rice. Shout out to our bodies for being able to do stuffs with the foods we eat. <laughs> shout out. Shout Hell out, yeah. Man. Shout we, out to the, we good, put to yeah, the good. Yeah, the gut does a lot of work. Yeah. So much work. We don't give it enough credit. We don't. Yeah, no, we put it through so much. At least you can do is do a day fast and give it a break, you know? <laughs> yeah. Just let it rest a little bit. So let it calm down. Like, yeah. Stop, stop it. eating at 10 o'clock at night and laying down. <laughs> give it a vacation. Yeah. 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 Just, chill, just chill. Just chill. I'm not going to do nice. it. I really liked that food talk. Um, it was great. You know, I, I think everybody's hungry. That's we talked for like twenty two minutes about fucking food. <laughs> that's, a, that's legit a segment. That's legit a segment. I don't care what you say. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it sure delicious. is. Well, I did hear before we even started recording that just Jerry J has a segment to bring to the table. Man, you know I'd be lying. Um. <laughs> Well, that's unfortunate because now we're recording. <laughs> Don't make me do it anyway, huh? Yeah. Yeah, actually, right. that's his job. He's the host. <laughs> uh, I, hate, I hate doing work that I have to do. <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you got for us, man? All right. Only because I, okay, this is kind of a copycat situation because this all been on my TikTok feed is the mm-hmm. whole am I the asshole thing. <clears throat> okay. And I what? love them. Oh yeah, I love those types. I was actually thinking about doing something because like I was that. Like, Stole my idea. So it's basically some people on Reddit put "Am I the asshole?" and explain, and you try to figure out are they the asshole or the person oh. they talk about. It's, it's it's kind of like the uh, Yelp review episode. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, 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 but yeah. more general. Yeah, so because everybody's so, an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try to pick a not a harsh one, just something. Something simple, and of course, I'm going to pick. Trump or Biden. Of course, it's got to do with it's Trump dungeon. the asshole. Um, um, oh no! Uh-huh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Mm-hmm. I'm ready. <clears throat> me, 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 me. The posts have been removed. Ain't that about a bitch? Um, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Mm-hmm. Oh no. <laughs> mm, Jerry, uh, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Cause, Cause now I'm in a politics session and we can't do politics. Oh no! I, <laughs> that's what I was saying, man. You're right. You're right. Oh, you're right. Am I the asshole? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> am Wait, I, what? Am I? The I asshole? any mini miny mo? Here we go. <clears throat> am I the asshole for kicking <laughs> out my mother-in-law for breaking my son's stuff? Here nope. We go. Oh, oh sorry. Okay. I, 41 year old male, have a few friends. I say a few friends. A few kids. <laughs> Four, 14 kids are months. just friends. 
a four, 14 <laughs> boy, a 12 year old girl and 11 year old girl with my wife. He put 40 year old male, but he said wife. So I'm hoping it's 40 year old female Mia. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, my mother-in-law is the type who always think her way, the old fashioned way is the best way of parenting. I don't really like her, but you know, I tolerate her because I'm married to her daughter. She always got something to say when we get my kids new stuff, whether it be tech, outings, or even stuff like clothes and shoes. I also forgot to mention that mother-in-law lived with us. Red flag right there. Mm. When she first Mm. moved in, she thought she was a third parent, but I shut that down quickly. Good job. Okay, Mm -hmm. so this whole problem is about what happened on Monday. After Mm -hmm. school, my my wife and mother-in-law are usually home. My son, I guess, didn't sweep the kitchen when uh, his grandma asked him to. And since he had his AirPods in, he couldn't hear her. I guess it's kind of kind of ticked her off because she yanked the AirPods out of his ear, grabbed his phone and threatened to flush the AirPods down the toilet mm. and throw away his phone if he didn't do it. My son just said something along the line of, OK, damn, I'll do it. <laughs> And I guess grandma didn't like that either. So she did actually flush the AirPods down the toilet. The parents paid for it. She wasted their money. Okay, go ahead. (laughs) And dropped the phone in oil of fried chicken. Whoa. He ruined the chicken as well? (laughs) What the hell is wrong with this woman? That she just finished cooking, so it was still hot. Damn. (laughs) The the screen is fine. We taking it to get it fixed. The Apple Care, shit like that. But that was 250 bucks she flushed down the toilet. Everything oh. I read is from the point of view of my wife, and I'm taking her word for it, but I'm absolutely pissed right now. And Mia did Mia did try to flip it around on her son for disrespecting his grandma, but I'm like, fuck that. She has been here since then, and she's staying with my wife's brother, and my wife refuses to speak about anything but her mom coming back. Am I the asshole? No, dude. Fuck no. Oh. <laughs> he dude, is that not is so the upsetting. <laughs> I probably yeah. would do the same thing. Yeah. Dude, that's I, so messed up, dude. Like, like that's their money. It's like you can discipline your grandchildren. I think that there might be some space for that if you've had that discussion with the parents. Yeah. But that's a lot of money. Like yeah. you but I also, feel bad for the mom. It started for- with I feel bad for him his wife. Accidentally <laughs> not hearing her. Yeah. So he had he was he was doing something. He had a according to him. Yeah, according to be he fair. had the pause in. But okay. See, now the other side is like, okay, you cuss your grandma, you said, damn, I'll do it. Now, they do garner some type of disciplinary action, cussing your grandma out. Yeah, yeah. But don't, but, don't ruin hundreds of dollars of like that's that's not that, gonna Fix any behavior issues. No, now, if she would have just took it away them. and put it up, different story. Right, right, right. Well, it's just like giving it to the mother. Right, or or something like that. But like, you're not gonna get any respect from anybody if you're gonna act like that, and the kid's just gonna not talk to you about anything or resent and you hide things from you forever. Yeah. Hell, now forever. your son's gonna resent you because now he got to pay an extra two hundred fifty dollars to replace. Right. First, first of all, you damage good chicken grease. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's the, worst <laughs> that's the most egregious. That that's the, story. That's the main problem. <laughs> that's the first issue right there. Oof, yeah. Because oh, you yeah. put this shit to the side to fry some more later. You could have thrown them just down the street, and it would have do it. It would have done the same. I have thing. a problem with parents when they do that type of shit. Like when they get mad and they like crush the PlayStation. Like you know you paid for that, right? Right, mm-hmm. dude. Yeah, that's. So if anything, dumb. go pun it. Like, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Make money off of it. Uh, or something like I would take my kids stuff and put it up like the tablet you can't use your tablet until you act right I'm mm-hmm. not gonna go and break the tablet I paid for <laughs> since does that make Jeez. none dude yeah that's that's pretty terrible um that kind of sucks and it's but yeah the- it's just interesting that like if that story is true that he had his earbuds in didn't yeah. hear her like why why was she i mean it could just be different age groups she was you know she's just living in her own time um could I mean, get pretty, really upset about that but I'm like pretty, 
it's a teenager. I'm pretty sure he heard her, but he had the ear pods in. It's just like, you know. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't hear you. At the same time, it's just like, dude, I'm sure he has to put up with her shit all the time. It's just yeah. like, shut the fuck up, grandma. First mm. problem, your mother-in-law is living with you. So let's start there. That, that never turns out good unless. Mm. I mean, I think if it's a health issue, probably. If you're but, taking care mm-hmm. of her, yeah, yeah, of course. But if you're taking care of your, your mother-in-law, it's fine. I wouldn't have any issues with that, but if yeah. your mother in law is just you're just like living with you for nah, the sake just of it, cause. just because she wants to be close, nah, and yeah. The wife and a wife wants the mom to come back, and I'm like, now you're not no. respecting your marriage because <laughs> right, <laughs> like that's what? not going to be good for our our relationship. Nah. If that monster is coming to our house nah. to live with us, yeah, no, I think he, yeah. uh, I think he really did make the right decision there. It's you know it's it's funny to say because everyone always talks about how like there's like that stereotype of the mother like the mother in law is always like the evil and bad and we always like fighting and everything, but then they do shit like this, and it kind of makes sense. It's just a generation thing, and I feel like as mm-hmm. we get closer to you know what our it age is? groups like I don't feel like Gen Xers are as bad as like. The yeah. other ones. You know what They're it is, bad. though. They're Honestly, Karens, but it, it's 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 the mentality of the older generation that thinks like these are just things. I can break these things, and there's no issue with it. That's but they don't. I didn't grow up with things. Why should fashion. they have to grow up with things? It's not even that. It's more. It's more like this can be replaced. I can set an example, and especially when they're not the parent and they're not paying for it. Yeah. They don't fucking they're not care. The bill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. They're not the ones footing the bill. I'm sorry, mother in law, but you finna have to run me that money. Small claims court. Let's go. I don't care. <laughs> Let's Judge go. Judy, save us. I, I save care. our marriage. Throw away. <laughs> Matter of fact, no, forget the AirPods, forget the phone. She owe me a new thing of chicken grease. That too. That's <laughs> far more precious. You owe me, you owe me a, a, a Costco sized <laughs> bottle. Right. <laughs> of fucking of fucking of 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 oil. And once you come back with that, never come back. Never come back. I, wonder, I do wonder if the chicken was good or bad, you know. I'm just saying. I would say <laughs> okay. that it was a little bit of apple in there. <laughs> first of all, first of God all, if she in the kitchen cooking and she messing up, why she won't sweep it up? See, just here's the thing, right? She's old, dude. The, the, you know, just telling someone to do something can go a long way. And like, you know, sure, the attitude is one thing. I didn't realize I was so close to the mic. Sorry. The attitude is one thing, but like, <laughs> but oh. I just for it, those of you listening, the cockthorn deep throated his mic. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think that it's it's something that like you should just like. The whole attitude thing is weird to me. Like, like trying to make someone believe that they should act a certain way just because someone is older than someone. Like, yeah, respect is one thing. Sure. But like, you know, like it depends on how like the dad came at the kid too. like, that's why. Like, and, and I was actually having this conversation with one of my buddies, uh, game pass. Um, we were talking about how stand up comedians get famous and then all their stand-up becomes about nothing but their fucking kids. And it's just nothing mm. but like, you know, you know, oh, the other day I was talking to my son and he did this or my daughter had did this at school or whatever. Like, and it's cool. Like I, I find it funny, but like, that's not what got you there in the first place. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And also like, there are some cool stories and funny stories and everything, but like, just to me, like the whole issue I have with that is that not a lot of people give a fuck about your kids. Like in reality, not a lot of people fucking care. They got their own shit to deal with. So I'm saying like, honestly, like, I, look, I, I love my son and my son is, is, is my son. And, and he's and he's <laughs> it kind of reminds me, reminds me of the Tim Robinson sketch. <laughs> it's just like if I talk about my kids sorry I'm talking about my kids again it's like don't worry 
I can distract them if you ever just start talking about your kids. Look, guys, <laughs> the dog's blowing me. Oh! <laughs> Stop talking about your kids. But like, <laughs> no, dude, like, look, I, I, and this goes back to the conversation we had before. I care enough. That if you talk to me about your kids, like I, I, I have, you know, uh, some some bit of empathy and I'm like, you know, oh, cool. Like your your kid pans you a fucking flower. That's great. But like. The, the one thing I can't stand and, th- and this is this is someone who is the asshole is no matter what fucking story they're telling you. It's the funniest thing in the world. And if you're not laughing, you're wrong. I had this issue where and this has happened to me multiple times where someone has just become like un- insufferable because all they want to fucking talk about is like like they'll tell me a story right and they'll be like oh my god so i was at the store and then this happened and this and like the their punchline is like not even funny and it's like and then i told the guy that's not where the broccoli goes <laughs> I want to punch you where you stand. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, hey, but, but being a person for some reason, I'm, I hate it, but I guess it's okay. I'm for some reason easily approachable. Mm -hmm. Did that make sense? Mm -hmm. Strangers galore talk. I could just be minding my own business. Mm -hmm. And it used to bother me until I realized like maybe one day really just need interaction. And two, Nobody's mm-hmm. giving them the time to just let just let them talk. And of course, I play the facade like it had, like I'm interested in a story. It happens all the time. Like no matter where I go, mm-hmm. somebody just randomly start talking to me. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah you're, you're such a nice guy. The whole time, like I want to go home. Like, <laughs> bro, mm-hmm. I don't care. <laughs> my, so I'm like, there's only care. so many times where you say, "Wow, that's crazy," and then they just don't bro. Stop my my talking. literal my literal favorite thing of all time is when it's like it's. it's it's not always the older generation, but usually it is yeah. when they walk up to you and they start telling you a story and they start telling you something about their family member and they're like, oh, and that's when Bobby did this thing. What was it, Bobby like we know or was it Jimmy? Bobby is. Was it Bobby or right. was it Jimmy? They're looking at you all the time. Be- was it Bobby or was it Jimmy? I don't know these four motherfucking people. Bro, I have no idea. Who are you? I, I, would, I would say. <laughs> How'd you get in my house? <laughs> Bro, it was no, definitely Bobby. No, yeah, for sure. what I hate is I'm not the most like I'm not really great at social cues, yeah. but mm-hmm. my f- least favorite thing is when old people kind of like go up to you and and kind of make it look l- like sound like you're in trouble with them or something like you mm-hmm. did something wrong. Yeah. And then they're just like. <laughs> there and then was... they just walk off like, what the fuck are you talking about? What did, what, what did I do? What did I do? <laughs> they're Bro. just like fucking with you. <laughs> I mean, I kind of get lady. it a little bit. There's a lady. I don't mind like, old people doing. Like, if you're elderly, elderly, I I love old people. I mm-hmm. love them. Like, I don't mind. But you can't be like in your 40s or 50s doing it. It's yeah, no, that's the what drives me bro. nuts. I don't mind it. Like, if an old, like you know, somebody in their like 70s, 80s, yeah, makes that kind of joke. But if you're like in your 40s, it's just kind of creepy, and you're like, <laughs> look, bro, <laughs> it, my, stop, <laughs> my, stop. like. My job, I wear shorts all the time, no matter what the temperature is outside, because I'm only I'm going from my car to the inside of the store and I'm going to be hot while I'm working. Right. So mm-hmm. I don't need I think you're hot all the time, bro. Thank you, buddy. So mm-hmm. I don't need I don't need to have like <laughs> pants on because there's no reason like I need like, if I wear shorts, I'm going to stay cool and I'm going to be working my ass off. Right. So and there's yeah. one lady don't want your ass to fall off in your pants. There's one, no, my ass needs to stay exactly where it's at. But maybe get bigger. <laughs> but basically, there's one lady that could, that that will like roll up on me in the mo- my fucking motorized cart, like fucking you know, like she's fucking <laughs> whipping a fucking Chevy, right? Yeah. She rolls up on me, and every time she like she like slams on the brakes too. Like literally, what she does is she'll roll up on me and she'll be like, "You like like I don't know why she thinks she has to be so fucking aggressive." But here, I can I'll, imagine I'll, that. Yeah. I'll, I'll demonstrate. I'll demonstrate. She's like. Going through the going through the store, going through the store, and then she just goes, "You're gonna freeze your ankles off," and then she just keeps going, and I'm like, <laughs> "Who asked?" I appreciate you. You don't have ankles, ma'am. 
<laughs> Maybe that's why she's so concerned. Was, but the she's thing, so concerned. the thing is, is like I, I want, I want, I want to be nice, and I want to be like, you know, you're right. I should put pants on. I don't care what your opinion is. You're not my grandmother. You're not any anywhere related to me. If I freeze my ankles off, what does that mean for you? Nothing. Your day is not affected unless I fall you're- flat the fuck in front of you and get blood on your motorized scooter. Like <laughs> your day's unaffected at that point. So just move on. Like, just go like y- you can just go. And that goes, that brings me back to the fucking mother-in-law. That's this like it's supposed to be about. Mm-hmm. If it, 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 don't, it don't concern you. If it's not your kid, like it's your grandson. Sure. But like you have that conversation with your son, not right. your grandson. If you have an issue with your, with the with the grandson's attitude, you have that conversation with the father, and you say, "This ain't right." Because you know what happens when, when my son goes to my my mom's house for the weekend. If something happens when she, when she sends him back, she calls me and goes, "He's doing this. You should have a conversation with that's his 100% mom or whatever." True. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. That's called respect. Yes. That's, <laughs> how, that's, that's how you respect. respect. What's Apparently. the next? Am I the asshole? Re segment. Bro, spec Jerry, Jerry, what's the next one? <laughs> I, I got. I'm trying to see. Well, all these are like they're super long. That's fine. That's fine. That's but, okay. That's no, just, no, it's fine. Episode. It's just like, damn. Do I feel like reading all this shit? Well, okay, I got you. I got you. <laughs> yes, yes. It it's okay. Segment. I'm ready. I'm ready for my segment. Whenever you want to move on to. Right, so. Here's a, here you go. Here you go. I'll do this one. This might be the last one because it's long as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Damn. I Here want we to go. continue on this. This I, I love these types of yes. Woo! Segments. No, I don't even want to do that one. Hello. I saw it. <laughs> Damn, Bro, this thing took up. The, I got my monitor yeah, vertical, and it took up the whole vertical oh, space. No. I don't. <laughs> oh no. Okay. 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 That much in my life. This one. This one's cool. This one's short. Am I the asshole for being annoyed because my husband hasn't booked the day off for my birthday? <laughs> Here we go. Mm. To rub more salt in the wound, my husband has booked the day off work for his friend's birthday <laughs> the week before so they can spend the day playing golf, even though they play golf uh, yeah, at least playing once golf. weekend per month. Got I it. feel like he oh, should make mm. more effort, especially after I took him to the Caribbean for his last birthday and arranged a surprise. Am I the asshole? Hold on. Oh, here's the problem. Did he take the day off for his friend's birthday so they could golf? And that day was available because well, it, it don't go into detail. That's but, what I'm saying. But that's the thing. If the day is not available for him to take off for his wife's birthday, you can't be mad at that. Cause if it's not available and he can't take off, it is what it is. But if the day is available for him to take off for his friend, that's another thing. Putting the, the two side by side and looking at it from that narrow, that narrow pane of glass or whatever the fuck is saying is, I get it, cause like he took off for your friend's birthday, but not yours. But if that day wasn't available, like let's say her her birthday fell on like fucking Easter or something, mm-hmm. you can't take that day off on some place and at some places, you know. So like, not Easter. That's a bad example. Columbus Day. No, that's not bad. That's a bad example too. Bro, is it? I, okay. I'm, We're adults, see, dude. Like, celebrate on the weekend. That's my policy. It's just like, shut listen. the fuck up. Memorial Day. <laughs> how old are Memorial you? Day. <laughs> I, I'm horrible for this because this is how I see it. You don't care. First, you, you, you take you, off days no matter what. So, right? <laughs> 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 it took off Monday for no reason. Um, <laughs> so, like, y- y- you with your wife 24 7 almost, like, mm-hmm. every day, right? Mm hmm. He probably rarely see his friend. So well, prime, prime example, prime example. Last year when I came to Colorado, and it was Mother's Day weekend. Mm, uh-huh. so, think, uh-huh. so think about that, right? Mm. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. So, but but for this situation, it's like, okay, you took him. If you do something for him, stop expecting him to do the same thing for you. Stop trying to make it an even playing field. You took him to the green for his birthday. Cool. Don't expect him to take you to the Caribbean for your birthday. Because I guarantee mm. you, he don't mind taking off with his friend because it's probably the least stressful day he'll ever have. Mm. And say when he got to take off for your birthday, he got to plan shit, stressed if you'll like it. It's going to be kind of expensive. He's probably thinking financially. 
And what Karn said, he probably just couldn't take off because somebody already took off work that day. He just couldn't take off that day. You don't know. Did you ask? So me, Did you communicate with him? Hey, babe, I would love for you to take off on my birthday. Just he and he are probably do it. Communicate to him. Did you want him to take off for your birthday? Mm-hmm. She probably didn't do it. I guarantee you she did. Are there any update posts? Uh, let's see. Because usually it'll say update, right? Uh, I just I don't wait. Who's all right? So I don't I don't think that it's porn, huh? <laughs> Reddit, Reddit got weird shit. Porn just popped up. I promise it's not me. Yeah, uh, sure. Reddit got weird. Yeah, Reddit. Yeah, Reddit's <laughs> weird. Um, I think basically everybody's <laughs> saying exactly what I just said. Did you communicate with him? Did you want him to take off? Ain't no update, but like just commun. Yeah, hey, babe. Yeah, there's there's a lot of variables. Well, it's just like again, situation. I think uh, anybody who celebrates their birthday on that day, if it's a weekday, needs to fucking grow the fuck up. Because yeah. it's like yeah. we all have jobs, we all have things that we need to do. Just celebrate on the weekend or on a following weekend. It's just like shut up. Oh my gosh, sorry, I'm, I'm a little pissed about this. <laughs> there's just like okay, grow so, up. So, there's 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 one thing. There's one thing I, I will fight you on about that, and that's that if you have the time to celebrate on your birthday, then fucking do it. You know. Like, no, I don't think you should expect everybody to drop everything just that's so that my you point. Can that's my point birthday. is that if there's time and you're like, hey, you know, like six months from now when my birthday happens, we have plans to go out. Sure. I mean, yeah. that's that's fine. Like uh, dinner plans. But it's like if you're expecting it's if you expect everyone room, to like, drop I everything want a for huge yourself, yeah. thing for my birthday. I want everybody to show up and party and everything. It's like. If it's an evening, fine, but it's like people who want to spend time with you during the you want to spend time with during the day, and, and if it's a work day, it's just like, dude, come on, like, yeah, can, can I play devil's advocate? You're fucking thirty five. <laughs> sure, mm-hmm. can I be the bad guy? If you, this is just me, right? Because mm-hmm. I remember the only last time I ever had a birthday dinner, it was a while. If I if if I decide that I want my birthday mm. to be at a restaurant, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Me, if if it's my birthday and I want people to come, nine times out of ten, I'm going to pay for everything. Hear me out. Because there's been so many times where people have invited me to their birthday dinner. Mm. And of course, mm-hmm. pick the highest shit you can possibly go to. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I decline, right? And they like, and then further down the line, I invite them to something I do like, well, you didn't come to my thing. Yeah, because I couldn't afford your thing. Yeah. And then you still mm-hmm. expect me to bring a gift. Because everybody expects you to bring you. You know, like, oh, you don't mm-hmm. have to bring anything. Bullshit. That's Shut another up. thing. It's like you're 35. <laughs> like. Have kids like already. me now. Don't <laughs> buy me a gift. Like, you ain't got to buy me shit. I just want the company on my birthday. Right. You know what I'm saying? Do you guys like, ever, yeah. you guys ever miss like birthday parties when you were a kid? I, I didn't don't. have birthday. I parties. always hated birthday parties. If I'm being really? honest, <laughs> okay. so I'm not like I okay. just, for my birthdays. I just wanted my parents to buy me the game and then just go in my room and play that game. No, that's fair. Yeah, that's, right. That's I just it. want to be left alone, honestly. So when I when I was <laughs> I, a kid, I'm not a birthday person. So that's when I was kind a kid, that's, my... that's pretty clear. Problem. When I was a kid, right? I had I had <laughs> there was a spot <laughs> that we went to in. Uh, uh, where I would have my birthday parties like every year, right? Mm-hmm. And one year, my parents didn't do it. They didn't re- reserve it in time or whatever. But I still told everybody that I that I was having a birthday party at that at that spot because I was used to having it there every year. Uh oh. And I didn't have one, so my mom made me and my brother sit at that place, and whoever showed up to tell them we're not having a birthday party to go home. And that's the last time I ever gave a fuck about a birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, for me, it was like, you know, every birthday party that happened, it just kind of felt confusing and awkward and weird. And it was like, it's all about me. <laughs> Yay. And, and then it was over and it, it just felt I just didn't feel family members like make it that was... shit so bad. Like they make a birthday party so fucking bad. Bro. Can we stop the- singing happy fucking birthday? Yeah. Especially in public, bro. God I, fucking yeah. damn it, when, man. Whenever it's such they a bad <laughs> song. Bro, stupid whenever they take me to like, that wrote it, fucking fuck them up. Fuck hey, fuck. you want the, you want the waiter and waitresses to sing happy? No, I don't want everybody. No, no I no, fucking no. don't. No, hell no. I just want to eat. 
Yeah. Yeah. So like, I, I got pretty excited once I was able to take control of my own birthday and birthdays. turn it into something else. <laughs> that you <wanted. laughs> a good A good birthday to me is like, hey, let's just meet up at somebody's house and chill. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, that's well, good. I mean, that's, yeah. It. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, Lindsay, she, my wife, for those of you who don't know, uh, she'll ask if Who's I want to do anything special. My wife. <laughs> my, wife. <laughs> my wife. My wife. It's my wife. It's my wife. Sometimes, like, she'll ask me what I want to do for my birthday, and I'm like, I don't know. Is there anything good to watch? Like, <laughs> I, ne- I never get to say so. Like this year, leap year, my birthday is on Mother's Day. Oh, uh, so, like I, Wait. I haven't had like a gathering or a party Wait, what, or what anything day, for what? For what's like your birthday? May twelve. Oh, that's my for mom's like, birthday. It, really? Yeah. She, she, <laughs> she, she, she get it double down. She get Mother's Day and birthday. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like kids who are born on Christmas. She gets yeah, one like I'm trying. Me. They were like, "What you want to do for your birthday?" I'm like, "It's Mother's Day. There's nothing for me to do on my birthday." You can't go out to eat because it's Mother's Day. Everybody and it's on a Sunday. Everybody church and Mother Day related is out there. Like, there's nothing for me. What do you want for your birthday? McCarthy, Pay a bill. For I, me. Your I birthday am. is coming out to my birthday. <laughs> and involving yourself. That's, that's what in it's the been for the last tournament. What, two year, year and a half. Like that's what it's been like, bro. Like they just asked me, "What you doing for your birthday?" Going to Colorado. I'm going to Colorado. And I'm going to play Super Smash Brothers. McCarthy, I, I, I am on your side now because I just thought about something. Yes. <sighs> Trauma alert. <laughs> I used to blow out candles. <laughs> <laughs> I had 16 of them. That uh, was the last time I, I, I just, celebrated. I, I just remembered something. <laughs> Not only am I tired of hearing, uh, hearing about happy birthday, but also... Ki- <clears throat> I got him like you just said about celebrating it on the day right Mm -hmm. i don't want to go out to eat if say my birthday june 2nd falls on a saturday right wait you were born june 2nd yes i was that's my birthday Are you actually? Are you serious? Yes. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> huh? Hilarious. Huh? Huh? That's crazy. Sorry. Go ahead with your story. That's that's nuts. Nuts. Happy birthday. So got the May babies. Got the June babies. Look at that. Yeah. Birdie. Right. So we're all fuck. We're all whatever. So <laughs> we're getting if my, older. <laughs> if my birthday falls on a fucking Saturday, okay. Don't mm-hmm. take me out to eat on a fucking Saturday. Everybody's gonna be out eating on a Saturday. I'm not Take waiting two hours. Tuesday. I'm not waiting two hours for a motherfucking table. Unless you, you make get a, a reservation. reservation. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, not even nope. then. Mm-mm. Because not even then, Mm-mm. because then everyone makes reservations. Every every fucking table's full. You're waiting 45 minutes for your fucking food. I'd much rather you take me out two days later. Mm. Three days later, mm-hmm. sorry, on a Tuesday, like Jerry said, when mm-hmm. no one's mm-hmm. fucking there and we can just mm-hmm. sit at a table. That's when I celebrate my birthday, and we can just fucking eat and just go on without, 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 with, on our business. That's it. Enjoy Take Golden Corral and peace. Pizza buffet. On Bro, there, there's no CC's in my area time. anymore. There's a what? Aww, there's no, there's no CC's Corral. in my area anymore. Oh, I don't think all, they have them anymore Caesars. here either. That's crazy. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, wow. Say it. Cracker Barrel? Cracker yes. Barrel? For your birthday? Bro. Every time I eat a Cracker Barrel, I always feel like a slave that's eating, oh my that's God, allowed dude. to eat food, bro. Like, oh, like man, legit. Sounds... People be like, why you got a Cracker like, like, I know how it comes off, but God damn, them pancakes be buzzing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Grand Sam. Grand Sam. Yes. Like, fuck You're the that. Only person Give me them who grits could do and this. them bacon, please. Would you, like to go to, you. would you like to go to Cracker Barrel with me sometime? Yeah. Give me the mother's platter. I would love to go to crack the suspense barrel is killing me with you sometime. <laughs> Thanks, y'all should bro. go tomorrow morning, <laughs> bro. I was I was hundred percent considering being late this morning to go to a fucking br- a breakfast house with with Jesse. Sh- should have did it. I know I should have done should've it, but it was, it. it was it was it was like. But here's the thing. I, I regret I got, that boy. I got I got pancakes and laid this morning. All right, so like. Ooh. Between that's okay. it was That's a good combo. Now, I said, go do it. That's a good combo. That's <laughs> right. 
She Man. never had a Waffle House, and there's no Waffle Houses around me. I have to drive an hour Sunday to get to mornings. a Waffle House. Oh, Waffle House. What a blast gone. from the past. We've gone oh. since then. <laughs> no, it's it, the, the best. The, no, but the best Sunday mornings for me are just like a little smash and then go into IHOP. Yeah. <laughs> it's good uh, so. Oh, yeah. Yes, so the asshole. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. At the end of the day, I, I guess. No, yeah. No, no, he, no, he's that's, not that's, the asshole. The wife should have communicated, like, hey, I want you to take off on my birthday. Well, what if she did, though? If she did communicate. Okay, not another no, information. Sorry, so, you might be the asshole. Yeah. And she might be the it, asshole. There, the, again, there's a lot of. First of all, the, no, there's I'll a lot of back. information that we don't know. He's the asshole. Who takes off to go golfing? Ugh. Yeah, true. Ugh. Yeah, you know what? You're right. <laughs> because, he, because he went off to go golfing, fuck him. He's the asshole. Welcome. <laughs> and she's not the asshole. That's what the question was. Kind of oh, reminds yeah. me of that story of that dad who um, upgraded himself to first class and left his wife and child. <laughs> I, and, I read that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to, to ride an economy. That's <laughs> <laughs> some shit so I'll do. Bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I know you would do it, Jerry. I, that's the kind of person you are. Hey, man, I'm going to first class. So, you and kids hold it down. <laughs> I'm gonna go stretch my legs. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna stretch my legs. Bro. But I'll be nice. I'm like, we can we can switch out. Yeah. I'm That's tired of all the bullshit that I keep hearing about everyone not liking the movie Soul Plane. Who said they don't Soul. like Soul Plane? I, Soul Plane. I've talked to several different people where they said they don't like Soul Plane. And I'm like, bro. Tell them to watch it again. I don't think they watched it right. Bro, I fucking love Soul Plane. Look, like, here goes Grant. Hey, watch oh, here. Grant here goes Grant saying he's Googling. Well, I'm Ready? Googling it, too. S- S-O-U-L-P-L-A-N-E. Snoop Kevin Hart, all them. Yeah, Tom on. Arnold. Following a ridiculously awful flight <laughs> that leads to his pet's death, <laughs> Noshan Wade, Kevin Hart, flies a lawsuit against the airline and wins a multi-million it. dollar settlement. He flies settlement. that lawsuit. <laughs> flies it. <laughs> he flies Files? that <laughs> <laughs> That's nuts. That sounds like a crazy movie. It's got Snoop Dogg in it. Yeah, it's got Snoop Snoop Dogg. It's got Kevin Hart, Tom Arnold, I love uh, Snoop Dogg. Uh, 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 um, Sophia Vergara. Oh, a lot of Ooh, it's people, got man. Isla Fox. A lot. Yeah, John Witherspoon. She's the in Latina it. stripper. Hmm? Huh? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Who else is in that movie? Mm-hmm. I have not seen that I'm movie. Not but you better a lot of people. believe I'm going to. I know there's a lot of Two stars on IMDb. Oh, I'm I'm gonna go see oh, Wait, is it I'm isn't, uh, watch this. isn't uh isn't Method Man in that too? Yep. Mm-hmm. See, so is this your segment, people. Karn? I, I never understand Soul Soul why people yeah, why people second. rate, rate <laughs> com- <laughs> comedic, comedic movies low. Like the movie is meant to be a bad movie. That's why mm. it's great. <laughs> it's kind of the point. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like, I like Jesus. those. I like yeah. those. Yeah. Mm. If it's a two star rating movie, I'm watching it. Yeah. I'm watching it. <laughs> Cause I, I tend to hate like high rated movies. Like, oh, this is Bro, terrible. I am so against anyone telling me like, oh, this shit's so good, you should watch it. That's like when when you y'all are like, oh, the last you should watch Star it. Wars. You should watch Lord of the Rings. You should watch Harry Potter. Whoa, 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 I don't whoa, care. Whoa, whoa, I don't whoa, fucking whoa, care. Whoa, whoa, I don't whoa, care enough to watch whoa. them. Nope. Whoa. <laughs> Lord oh. of the Rings and Harry Potter gets a pass. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. <laughs> I don't give a fuck enough to watch them. Hey. You, you know what I'd rather watch? You know what, what movie I would rather watch instead of watching any Lord of the Rings or any uh, what? Uh, Star Wars or any fucking Harry Potter? What? The Cat in the Hat. <laughs> oh. Mike Myers. Yeah, Mike Myers. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I digress. <laughs> 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 Fucking love that movie. <laughs> It's such a stupid movie, but I love crazy. it so much. You yeah. guys are crazy. I hate that fucking movie so what? much. I love Cat in the Hat. Fucking awful. I love, I love Cat in the Hat. I love, I love Cat in the Hat. Mike Myers. <laughs> you know what? Even better yet. Even better, yet. Watch. Even better yet. Before Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, or Star Wars, love Guru. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't even know I've never one. seen it because every time I went to the movie theater, which was three times, I always made out. Throughout the whole movie, and I never. It's it. man, it's such a stupid fucking movie, but I, I, I don't know why it makes me laugh so hard, but it does. Bro, the the Love Guru is a 2008 American oh romantic comedy film directed by Marco Shannam Schnabel in his directional <laughs> debut, written and produced by Mike Myers. 
I'm getting a lot of insight into your sense of humor, Karn, and I don't think we mesh. <laughs> <laughs> swipe left, swipe left, swipe left. Swipe. <laughs> One of us gotta go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, Karn, you should watch Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I, I I'll watch I Lord. I I'll, 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 I'll watch Not Lord Guru. Not because I want you to too. enjoy it and that we can relate on something. I want to know if you dislike it. I'll tell you what. And why? I'll watch and why? I'll watch Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter if Jerry makes the YouTube shorts. <laughs> Boom. How how yes, many? He's not gonna... <laughs> yeah, Any uh, at this okay. fucking point. Be realistic. <laughs> how... <laughs> Just a single one per week. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can get you about five. <laughs> yeah five he'll he'll do it nice five yeah. per every lord of the rings you watch for every lord of the rings i watch so the how about for so, every hour so a max of 15 <laughs> every hour no <laughs> yeah dude it's just nine no. hours Come okay on. three for every hour three for every hour yeah so nine videos i thought it was longer than it. wait if he watched the regular not the director's cut <laughs> no if you watch the director's cut that's that's Three hours per. Is that Ooh. so? Wait, so I have to clock in and then clock out? Like, is, is that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, just watch the fucking yeah. movies. Jesus. Just watch, the, <laughs> just, why, just just watch, watch the goddamn movies. Just watch them. God damn. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, it. Watch. watch the movies. No, you're getting a better deal if he just gets gives you 10. Yeah. If, Grandson, right if I can get Grandson to watch the entire Dragon Ball series. I did. I, I am going to watch the entire Dragon Ball series because of the creator just dying. Yeah. Mm. Because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to watch, watch them it. now. Yeah, you can skip GT though, but it's fine. Hey, shout I didn't out. know that they Pokemon ZA coming out. Yeah. Oh. Yep. I, I, I was unaware that um the creator of Dragon Ball was <laughs> like kind of like a staple for other. Yeah, yeah he did other. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Like, like other writers, like the writer for you know mm-hmm. Naruto and and One Piece, like they found oh, yeah. inspiration. And that's yeah. that's that was cool. Yeah, I didn't know that. It's pretty neat. I'm playing Assassin's Creed. It's a really Creed. good show. I like it a lot. I'm playing Assassin's Creed. And I, just, I just wanted to put that in the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I got. Oh, yeah. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Is that your Bro. segment? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the segment's going to have to wait till next podcast. Tune in next week. Oh, uh, yeah. Is, are we at our max? We're yeah. at our max. Oh, that's our that's, that's, full, that's the episode, bro. guys. That's if you it. didn't like, look at the the whatever you're listening us to us on. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if you saw the little thing reaching the end of the podcast, you knew that you knew that this was going to end. So before smart. We <laughs> even yeah, knew that it was going to end. So uh, <laughs> thank you for sticking around for that long, and uh, uh, please follow us on on whatever you enjoy watching us uh, or listening to us on. And by the time you hear this, uh, this podcast, Grand Sam will be a dad. Yes. That's, that's yeah, by that true. point, yes. probably. Yeah, the, I would, the I would hope so. Incredibly point, high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, we're yeah, on I'm, Patreon. Please support us. Please. Also, we're on Patreon. First episode yes. up where we talk about s- s- the S word. And yeah. And <laughs> slavery? Jerry, Jerry gets really deep. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah he, oh yeah he does anyway let, oh yeah, my god so the save it for here. the patreon uh, <laughs> go follow us on the patreon it's uh well is there a, like a link at like nimrodders it's, slash it's, patreon or it's patreon.com slash nimrodders got it you got it yep so that's yep. that's where you go find that and, and yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah thanks for listening Let's say goodbye everybody goodbye goodbye I, yeah. <laughs> For those of you listening, Jerry J is holding up the peace sign. Goodbye. Oh, he got (laughs) it!